this deportation, it's part of the collective punishment that the Israeli are doing in Jerusalem. When we were deported, uh, no one of us had any kind of information about why we are deported. We went just to the police station, we received the order. No explanation, uh, nothing, no legal process. It was a, a military order that were uh, issued by a commander, a military commander, and that's it. We tried to ask, uh, the lawyer asked the Israeli police about, uh, about it, why. They answered it's a secret file, but there is no legal process and there is no information provided about the reason of deporting uh, me or the other uh, deported people from Jerusalem. The situation of Jerusalem, it's not a new situation. It's a situation that started in the 1967 with the annexation of East Jerusalem. And the Israeli plans to have Jerusalem the capital of Israel and to have Jerusalem as a Jewish city. Then because all these plans, uh, several policies and uh, uh, actions and events were happened in Jerusalem and it's continued until the moment in different levels, in different uh, area, in different ways, but it's the same plan by the Israeli for Jerusalem. Then what's happening in Jerusalem and the problems that we are facing in Jerusalem for Palestinian, mainly it's the Judaization. It's the identity of the city that the Israeli are trying to change to become uh, a Jewish city. And also the big lie of coexistence that the Israeli are trying to have in Jerusalem and trying to convince the Palestinian for normalization with the Israeli uh, authorities, organization um, in different uh, ways. And it's a big pressure in the social life of the Palestinian to have a work, to study, to use transportation and everything. Many other problems we are facing in, uh, in Jerusalem as a Palestinian, it's uh, more details of what the Israeli are doing to have the, uh, to change the long status of Jerusalem. But it's very small details that the Israeli take care of changing uh, the life, the story, the people, uh, the, the business, the view of Jerusalem to become a modern Jewish uh, city and it includes forest transfer or silent transfer of the people and in, in different things. We say that Jerusalem is, is an occupied area and we are asking for our liberation from the occupation. And then, on the other hand, who can be uh, representing the Palestinian? It's the PLO. Uh, the Palestinian Authority uh, are not doing anything for the Jerusalemite. This is the feeling for everyone. And they cannot do anything, as, as I said before, because of the peace agreement that the, is, uh, the Palestinian Authority have. They are not allowed and they cannot do any uh, significant actions or anything for Jerusalem. On the other hand, there is the political parties that they are uh, active in different fields and different things. Uh, and they make before they were stronger. Today they are not really strong. They don't have that very strong uh, representation or effect. But they are there. They are uh, represented. They are in uh, the people level. They are in different other levels. We wish as a Palestinian that this rule can be stronger and we can have better representation in the Palestinian Authority, in uh, national level and in uh, in a strategic level that we miss it uh, for a while. And uh, we have also a civic coalitions uh, that it's a coalition of uh, NGOs, CBOs and other uh, uh, organization that they work together uh, for the issues of uh, Jerusalem. And they are following all the cases, but Jerusalem need more. Jerusalem, it's a place that the Israeli are working in each field, in each area, in each uh, one meter square, which means that we need an army to work in, in Jerusalem, yani a lot of people to work in, uh, in all the fields, not only one organization or one, one political parties or few of them. Since the kidnapping and killing of the child Muhammad Abu Khdair, all the actions that I saw, it was not organized by a leadership or a political party or anybody in Jerusalem. It was not a political decision. It was a popular action that was not organized by anyone. It was a people that they went out, they involved in this action, this demonstration, 
and uh, that's what's happened because the people are feeling uh, in, in stress and pressure and sometimes people are uh, reaching this level that it's enough and they go uh, on the street and what's happened with the story of Abu Khadir it was really strong it was really hard for everyone at that time there was a very strong solidarity between the Palestinian and unity and you can see it in a popular level in the international level, I think uh, Jerusalem, Palestine, uh, it's one of the cases that it's not only for the Palestinian. It's also the case of uh, any country, any people that they have uh, human rights uh, defenders or they are working for uh, the human rights. They are trying to implement the international law and keep the peace in the world. And I think it's a people's struggle because it's part of the people's struggle in the global level, which means that we have this unity and solidarity with uh, in, in exchange between us as a Palestinian and other people in different areas. And it, Palestine and struggle for uh, liberating Palestine, it's part of the global struggle for the people everywhere. That's why we believe on the people. We don't believe anymore in the government. With even if they issue different orders uh, and different policies, different decisions for uh, Jerusalem, for in the United Nations or in different areas. And we can see that uh, states and governments keep silent all the time of the Israeli violating the international law, human rights for a long time and not respecting or implementing the uh, United Nations decisions. That's why we say we are part of the people's struggle in the global level and uh, the people's struggle is growing up and we have to continue being in communication and connection for better situation for the future for the Palestinian and also for the other uh, people in different other uh, countries. What we what I can ask and call for the international uh, community and uh, people in the global level for doing it's uh, keep the movement and raising the awareness for the Palestinian case. Uh, Jerusalem is part of Palestine. Uh, the deportation is part of the Israeli policies against the Palestinian. Because of that, we have to keep uh, spreading, uh, spreading the information, spreading the information about Palestine and the facts of uh, what the Israeli occupation are doing in, uh, in Palestine and in Jerusalem. And also to boycott the Israeli institutions, policy, government, uh, products, and to keep the uh, people actions, demonstrations, uh, pressure, campaigns for supporting the Palestinian and for supporting the human rights of the Palestinian in all the ways and the uh, uh, places that we can all the time.